636 family. I've noticed a trend down in the comments for like on the how to uh, slow wheelie video, how to wheelie for beginner video. And that is the most upvoted comment right now is do a how to stop you video. How do you stop you? What are you doing to it? And then second to that, that yeah, I'll get to, but it's not as demanded is how to drift. Um, basically, I think this is for the reason that when people think of stunt riding, they normally will think of um, wheelies, uh, stoppies, drifting and burnouts so I understand you guys want to learn this stuff so it's just me getting here getting to the lot and having a full GoPro to do it so today I'm doing the how to stop you I personally highly advocate for having a little bike whether that's a Grom or whatever um, a Z any anything even even a okay maybe not an ninja 250 but you, you get the point a mini bike because the braking system on it is a lot more forgiving than the big bikes braking system however i am going to be teaching you guys on the big bike um and just because this is what a lot of guys are using to learn how to stop you now with that in mind know that sport bikes front brakes are super 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 powerful I'm sure I don't even have to tell you guys that and some of the most important things before you even start to do stoppies is knowing that you have a good sticky front tire especially rolling stoppies which we're gonna get into how to roll stoppies you need to have a good sticky front tire you need to have the proper PSI in it um, you need to have good brake pads uh, good rotors you need to have everything checked out and good you can't be doing this on no junk you know I picked this up at the motorcycle shop for free because it was on the used rack and yeah it's all dry rod and stuff. No, you need this to be soft, you need this to be sticky, and you need this to grip because the last thing you want to do is slide out of a stop because you're going to come in hotter and hotter, you know, 30, 40 miles per hour and you're just going to you're just gonna wash right out. So I'm sure you guys have seen a bunch of videos, maybe I'll even include one right here. <laughs> So there you go. Now you know what it looks like to wash out. You don't want that to happen. And the guy's probably not even trying to do a stoppy. So um, either way, you need to have a good front end and you need to know that this is not a toy. It's extremely sensitive brake. It's the same thing that your rear brake will do to you, how it'll throw you over the top. This one will throw you right over too. So without further ado, let's get into this. Um, First and foremost, we're going to be doing pop up stoppies, which is, or just pop up stoppies, which is basically what you see, you know, maybe, I don't want to say a squid or whatever, but, you know, you might want to just see it on the street and some just random guy comes up to a stoplight and he's right up to the stoplight and boom, you know, he just, as he's braking, the rear tire comes off the ground. That's, that is an important step to learning how to stoppy though. Um, and that just is basically you getting used to your, rear tire coming off the ground so so getting used to the rear tire coming off the ground in the first place is, is a huge thing and you learning how to properly work this is another so for a papa stoppy most of you guys are probably going to come in more brush more pressure more pressure up until the rear brake comes in that's fine for these pop stoppies more pressure more pressure okay the tire is up like that we're coming way up um you're not I understand that that's going to get you used to stoppies. However, that's not what you want to be doing when we're going to be rolling stoppies. Um, so let's just say you guys have practiced that. Take, for the love of God, if you didn't take my how to wheelie um, video when I said take it slow, take my how to stoppie video when I say take it slow seriously. I've flipped one of these before when I was learning and I was just going faster and faster and faster. Um, coming in at the top of like second third gear and I just I was way out of my element um, and I paid for it so basically once you guys have gotten that down and please if it if it makes any difference press pause on this video right now press pause and go learn your pop stoppies and get that down before you start rolling Three weeks later, many months later. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Okay, now that's done. Now we're going to talk about rolling. Rolling, you're going to come in more pressure right away to get the front tire up 
and then let let off a little bit and or maintain that pressure. Um, so you're not going to want to give in, give in, get in. That's how you're going to flip. Another huge important thing for when you're rolling stoppies is to have a fixed point. For me, it's these trees. For you guys, it might be a cone out in a parking lot, whatever. But for these trees, this is what I'm going to use as my fixation point. So we're going to be popping it up at this first tree. You need to have a spot like that, not only to uh, ensure that you're being consistent, but to also track your progress. Because who doesn't like to have progress? And another huge thing, you need to keep your head up like this, not, not to the sky, but when you go up, you're not looking straight down at the ground. You're looking in front of you, where you're going. Um, that'll basically help with, uh, with uh, target fixation. Because a lot of people look at the ground and then they'll, they'll flip because that's where they're gonna go. It's just the same thing as not looking uh, or looking through a corner and not having a spot directly in it. So you're gonna do the same exact thing with stoppies. Um, so make sure you keep your head up and make sure that we're pressing that brake right away. So even if it's a few feet, come in, come in, come in. Roll. Just like that. Look at that. We got 10, 10 feet. Good. Make sure your head's up, coming at the top of top of first as much as you want. Um, once again, take it slow. I'm probably going to say that a lot in this video. Um, make sure that your tire, as you're progressively getting up, up to speed, make sure your tire is catching. Even though I said make sure you have a good tire, make sure you have a good enough tire. Michelin uh, Pilot 2 CTs, that's what I run. Other guys run Q3s, um, the, the good sticky tires. I've never gone wrong with pilots, so whatever. Run a good sticky tire up front. So, and then keep track of your progress. Now you might want to come in towards the top of first. You know, keep going and track your, your speed, not by looking at your speedometer, of course, so you're not looking down. I keep track of it by listening to the motor. So listen to, listen to how loud that motor is. And then as you keep going, you can change gears. Go at the top of second gear. Go at the top of third gear. Now, going in at the top of first gear compared to the top of second gear, that's going to probably take you weeks, if not months, to, uh, to get that down. So going in at the top of something like that is not the same. So basically this whole time too, I totally forgot to talk about this. You need to have your arms locked, arms locked like that, slight bend, but locked, knees up against the tank, squeezing the tank, eyes forward and body centered. If you feel your stoppy starting to pull you left or right, um, counter it with your body, which, you know, basically, you know, shift your body weight just slightly, but the slightest little movement in these will, you know, could potentially turn you or flip you. So, I'm gonna top first, second. Boom. Now look at that. Now we're rolling a good 35, 40 feet. So, the top of these gears do help a lot um, in keeping track or track of your progress. So, but once again, Going from the top of first gear to the middle of second, just like what I did, is a huge difference. You know what I mean? When the top of first landed me there, the top of second lands you a lot farther away. Um, and it's not just as easy as going faster. It's it's constantly tweaking of how you and your bike are working together. This is just, it's just that one trick that wheelies, you can save. You can save a wheelie. That's the sweet part about it. Like, oh shit, I went too far back. Better grab my, my brake, my front brake or my handbrake or my foot brake and then I'll counter it. Stoppies, you don't have that. You don't have that safety. All you're gonna do is flip. So, top first, second. Boom. Basically, this is just gonna be you going farther and farther and farther. Um, and it's gonna be you troubleshooting it. I suggest wearing a jacket, although I'm not right now, it's really hot. I suggest wearing a jacket. 120% a helmet and gloves and all this other stuff like it's not it's not like it's not like wheelies you're coming in faster if you slide out you're gonna go down a lot harder so first and really important is a stabilizer the last thing you want to do is get speed wobbles on a stoppy happened to me scary as hell 
I've seen it happen to do at crazy high speeds and somehow they saved it. But basically you need a dampener because that's that's what their purpose is, is to keep you from not getting the wobbles. And when you're on a stoppy, it happens that much easier because you only have one wheel on the ground. So and then another the other second thing is your brake fluid. Motul 600, um, Motul 660, whatever. Uh, a high quality brake fluid that you're not gonna get faded on. So these are also super important things. So basically just apply all the fundamentals and hopefully this will come to you guys. And just keep at it, keep track of your progress. Woo! Keep at it, keep track of your progress. Um, fill me in how you guys are liking them. Um, and basically, like what I said before, I, it would be nice if you had a little bike there. Um, me personally, I love doing it on the little bike. I think the little bike is so much more fun um, for a lot of reasons. And, and it's not just because it's more forgiving. I, I like it because it's lighter. And yeah, you are kind of picking the bike up to a sense when you're squeezing that tank, you know? So you're more predictable than the brakes are. So make sure your tire is warmed up too. There's another huge thing I forgot to say. Make sure your tire is warmed up. So when you come in for the first few times, just do a few quick breaks like this. Make sure to warm it up though, you know? Warm it up. Do a couple Papa Stoppies, whatever. Whatever you gotta do to warm up, warm up that front tire. Woo! So yeah, we'll come in. You might need a little bit more room for gears on on the Grom than you do the big bike, but still come in hot. Meep, meep. See if we can scare Jack. <laughs> I don't know if Jack likes stoppies or not. Jack, do you like stoppies? Do you like stoppies, Jack? I don't think so. Okay, bye, buddy. Well, I guess Jack doesn't like stoffies, but hey guys, let me tell you, I appreciate you guys watching this channel so much. I know I say it uh, here and there, but I really do mean it. Um, I appreciate you guys leaving your comments. <laughs> I appreciate you guys leaving your comments. Um, always let me know what you guys want to see next, what you guys liked about the video, what you guys didn't like about the video, saying, hey, you're gay, hey, I love you vice versa whatever letting me guys know your honest opinion is is awesome so i'm extremely happy with the community that this channel's brought so keep at this stuff at all these how to's and it'll come to you i promise i promise it'll come to you Hey, if you haven't seen my how to how to do rolling burnout video, uh, I'll link it right there. But man, if I can do it on a Grom, you can do it on a big bike. So I hope you guys enjoyed this how to stop you video. If you get anything out of this video, um, it, if you didn't get anything out of it, I should say, please take home. Um, take it easy. Take it slow. That's my biggest suggestion. My biggest suggestion would be take it easy. So I hope you guys stay safe. I appreciate you guys checking out the channel. And um, and keep safe. So much love, guys. This is Brian636 signing out. Don't forget to like, comment, and uh, share. Peace. Uh, Why do you wish like when it's gonna keep going?